Hello everybody, it's Raphael Perry here with another update on the Dwarfs of the Bronze Kingdom from Legends of Signum for the Legends of Signum game. Uh, so I just thought I'd show off like everything at the moment, right? So obviously this little chap's done. I'm quite happy with him. There is a bit of brown on the side of his base there where it shouldn't be, but I might want to tidy up at some point. But he's basically ready to fight, ready to go. He's got his big hammer, going to mash stuff up. He's got his little pointy helmet. You know, he means serious business. Now, in the last couple of days, I've been highlighting the metal beneath the waist on this dwarf. So, the knee plates, the steel toe caps, and not much else, right? Uh, might have done his hands as well. I can't remember if they were shown in the last video. And I've also been working on the hat ornaments of this fellow. He's got a bomb with a skull on the front. I don't know what colour I'll do with a skull. I've been getting all the metals out of the way so I can start doing colours. And he's got a triple barreled blunderbuss held together with a belt. <laughs> so every time he pulls the trigger that thing could just explode and go off in different directions. Actually, that's very thematic for these three little warriors. Uh, because in the game, they uh, have a random roll every turn. And if they roll well, they do a bit of damage to a nearby enemy. If they roll badly, they take some damage because their steam tech explodes and stuff. Yeah. So, um, I'm going to be making this plume more blue. The hat itself, I think, a sort of uh, bluish Napoleonic green. And then you could have the blue trousers, maybe a red beard. I'm aware of time limits on the camera. So we got Lady Spark here. I haven't decided what colour to do her boots yet. They could be black. They could be a darker version of the leather colours used on the other dwarfs to tie it in thematically. And whatever they are, the Queen, Liri Nye, well Lire Nye, but I find it easier to call her Liri Nye, has the same boots. So there'll be a copy. And why has the Queen got a whip? It's because she likes to ride around in a great big chariot pulled by two massive boars and they are nowhere near ready. We've also got this chap with a great big hammer. I've been doing the uh, metals, skin, hair and smoke on him. I wanted to show off the smoke before I put him on camera and so now I've just got to finish up the metals on his base. Then I can do his boots. I'm thinking green shirt olive green drab trousers, uh, maybe blue grey gloves with white trim. haven't decided if I need an extra layer of highlights on his hair or not or if it's just good but admittedly the setting sun is making him out look really bright. If I just uh, get some shadow over that that's a little more like the colours. Right, um, it's also got reins of a chariot and I've been blocking in the metals on this magnificent engineer who's riding along on this kind of mechanical dwarven ancestor head sculpt thing with a panel on the back that says error <laughs> and what he does is he makes all the steampunk equipment of the other dwarfs that little bit more reliable uh, so they can they can re-roll their rolls to see if weird funky stuff happens and the queen interestingly enough basically um, so the queen here now that I have more time to speak, because my camera decided it was time for me to stop talking and go and offload the previous clip, <laughs> she plays to the faction's weaknesses, bizarrely. So the dwarfs are an expensive faction to field. They cost a lot of points to put on the table. So they are often going to be outnumbered. However, she literally gains strength in numbers from them. The more dwarfs you have on the table, the more powerful she becomes. And this is interesting because it discourages you from just fielding the expensive stuff and actually getting some of the cheaper things which are about average to expensive cost for other factions. Additionally, whenever one of the steam engines malfunctions her chariot gets faster so she goes faster when they go wrong to make up for it. So she's kind of like a compensation prize really. Um, additionally, since Lady Spark is a lady. She's a member of the court. So I think Lady Spark may be copying the Queen's dress sense a little. So they're likely to wear some similar colours when they're done. 
Uh, that's about it for today. Oh, right, yeah, a few more thoughts on this chap with his big hammer. He is probably one of the most powerful warriors in the faction, apart from, like, the guy who rides the giant mole, or the guy in the little gyrocopter who's the designated driver who goes around, picks people up, and drops them off in other ports places of the battlefield, or the bloody Balrog. <laughs> uh, no one controls the Balrog, it's just, it can turn up uh, late game and just go on a rampage. It's basically like a nuclear button, a sudden death mode, a look, this game's grinding on a bit, let's crank it up to 11 and have some real fun. But there we are, that's it for today's video. I uh, hope you all enjoyed this one, let me know what you think, especially about some extra highlights. For, let's see if I can just get him in a, something more like the... Yeah, that's more like the natural colours, I think, of how he looks most of the time. There but I was trying to get some light focused on the windowsill. But yeah, so let me know what you think about possible colours for his gloves, or, or even his clothes at all, really. And great big billowing cloud of steam. He's got like a jacket, a belt. Jacket comes down a bit below it, some trousers, boots, you know. And basically, once I've finished the metals on the base, I can paint the wooden rails, and that'll be the first set of mine tracks done. Also, you know, mine tracks underneath the chariot here. So, lots of fun to be had with that. Right, I'm going to keep working on this project, and there'll be more videos as it goes. I hope you've enjoyed this little one, and uh, look forward to seeing you on the next one. Okay, bye-bye for now, everyone. Thanks for watching.